Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit my blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest Excel dashboard tips, tricks, and techniques. Today I'm going to show you the first part in a series of making different charts that I found in a USA Today. This was from April 5th and uh, the start of baseball season was out and they had posted this infographic on their homepage. Are baseball tickets good value for the cost? Uh, not great grammar, but they have an infographic here that has a baseball. It's divided into a few parts. First is the no section, which is like 52%. Unsure is 11%, and yes is 37%. So you can immediately tell that this pie chart, if you will, is about baseball because of the graphic that's behind. And I uh, wanted to see how can we make this USA Today infographic in Excel using no macros, no shapes, uh, things like that. Uh, we're going to use a standard pie chart in Excel. Here is what my chart ultimately looks like at the end of the day. It looks very similar. No is 52%, unsure is 11%, and yes is 37%. I have a baseball graphic image uh, within the pie chart, uh, and let me show you how we go about doing that. About 10 simple steps to do this. First thing you need to do is you need to go out and find an image of a baseball. So I found an image of this baseball right here, and I have inserted it into my spreadsheet. Um, what I did is I went up to the Insert ribbon. I clicked on Insert Picture, and from the dialog box, I inserted the picture within the spreadsheet. Now, you'll have to find this first. Alternately, you could just copy and paste this from your image source right into the spreadsheet so that's available for use. Next, what we want to do is we want to make a pie chart. Let's take a look at our data. So as you can see here, our data um, in the Excel pie chart has two different series. Um, first, it's got uh, a series called pie chart image, but there's only one number one in the entire image uh, pie chart series. Also, we have a pie chart series just called pie chart. This is our values of the no, unsure, and yes. Uh, so you can see that's what's going to create our pie chart. Um, but we need to put both of these series together. And let me show you how you do that in an Excel pie chart. First, what we want to do is we want to highlight this range from cell A2 to cell C5. Then from there, we want to go up to our Insert ribbon. In our Insert ribbon, you're going to find this pie chart button within the Charts group. Click on that. Then there is a 2D pie chart, and you want to just go ahead and click on that button right there. And you will now have this wonderful pie chart. Uh, it kind of looks weird because it's just got one solid pie uh, here on the front. Uh, but that's fine because we're going to use this for, as we said here, the pie chart image. So let's go out and get that baseball image that we have out in our spreadsheet. Let's do Control C, or you can right click on it and click Copy. So I'm going to do Control C. I'm going to then click in my chart. I'm going to click on that pie chart image data series. And I'm going to hit Control V, or I can also, uh, let's see, I can't do paste from here, so I kind of want to learn my con uh, Control C and Control V. Control V is going to be to paste this. Now you can see my image is inserted in there uh, within the pie chart itself. Now. Uh, this is why we have that one series set up to show the image. Uh, if we didn't do this, let's go ahead and uh, highlight the data and create another pie chart and show you what that would look like. Let me do the pie chart. I'm going to delete this one series here, and now you see in the background we actually have all three data points. If I select my baseball image, copy it with Control C, click in the pie chart and do Control V. Notice how the baseball image is put into each slice of the pie chart. Not quite what I want, so that's why I have, let me get rid of this one, hit my delete key. That's why I have this one slice here. You can see over on the left hand side, column B, pie chart image has a one in there. That's going to show us an entire slice of the pie so that our graphic is not broken up into each of the individual data points. All right, so we're getting pretty close. So we've got our image inserted in here. Now what we need to do is we need to right click on our chart and choose the select data option. And you're now gonna see the select data source. What we wanna do is we wanna move this pie chart image to the back so that the pie chart 
is going to be up front and that's going to be the visible area. So first select that in the legend entry series, the pie chart image, and come over to this move down button and select that. We've now moved the pie chart image below pie chart. If we click on OK, you can see the pie chart. If I click on that, and let us over here in column C, pie chart is now the active range that we're looking at. So we're getting pretty close here. What we want to do is right click on this pie chart series that's now visible. And let's click on Format Data Series. And we're going to do a number of options to this. I'm going to move this over here so that you can see it all. First option is we want to um, uh, go ahead and click on the fill. Click on Solid Fill. Now, it doesn't matter what solid fill color you choose because we're ultimately going to just make our transparency 100%. So you can see that right there. We've entered a value of 100%. And then we want to choose our border color and we want to do a solid line. Typically we're going to want to choose like say a black image. For this one, if you have a dark image in your background, you may want to choose white to make your borders uh, appear on the chart. Then I also like to make our borders just a little thicker, so I click on border styles. I'm going to change the point of this up to say about oh, two points. Finally, what we need to do is go back to series options. You could have done this at the start of it but I just wanted to show it to you here at the end and we want to choose secondary axis so we want to plot this series on the secondary axis once we do that look at that you can see the baseball is now showing up in there uh, so let's take a look at our chart so um, you can see we have borders going on our pie chart series we're making every one of these data points in the series transparent so that we see the image in the background we have the border showing up and highlighting our pie chart. Altern also, the only other things we probably want to do is maybe delete this legend by clicking on hitting the delete key. Uh, maybe we want to click on our chart and go up to layout and do some data labels. Let's do center on our data labels. And uh, you can see there is this number one here, which is the one for the background image. I'm going to click on that and hit my delete key. And then I'm going to right click on any one of these other data series labels and click on format data labels from there I'm gonna add category name and I probably want to make a separator of a new line click on OK and uh, oops I also wanted to make those data labels a percentage so I'm gonna go right back in there click on percentage and get rid of value click on close now you can see only thing maybe add a title in here not a lot left to do. You can format these data labels more if you'd like by clicking on them, going to your home ribbon. Maybe we want them to be bold. Maybe we want to make them larger. Uh, you can. This unsure is a little bit difficult to see, so if I click on it and click on it a second time, I can actually move that data label down just a little bit so that you can see unsure. So, as you can tell, it's an easy way to add graphic images to your pie charts. It just takes a little trickery to have another pie chart overlay on top of it uh, in order to see the graphic in the background image. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com where you can learn lots of different Excel dashboarding techniques, chart techniques, and everything about Excel. Also, don't forget to sign up for my YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the next post in this series. Thank you.